All right, now I already made a video about this before and I posted it to my channel and I kind of realized there was a little bit of misinformation in that video and I didn't realize it. So I'm going to make this one and make it right. Anyways, what's going on is there's a super cheap, if not free way to upgrade your 4.6 Mustang and this should work on anything from 96 to 04 Mustang wise on the 4.6 2 valve. And I believe it should also work on two valve Crown Vicks and maybe the Thunderbird or a couple other 4.6 models. I'm not 100% sure on those, but I know 100% it works on this. So, anyways, um, what I found out is if you take a throttle body from a uh, Lincoln Aviator. Which has, I know it has a four valve four six in it, which is the uh, the one with the larger heads. But they use a throttle body that was really similar to the two valve throttle bodies, and this linkage on here is almost identical to the Mustang linkage here, which is a, there's a little bit of difference, which I'll get into that here in a minute, but uh it'll work with this car um, you can also use a throttle body off of the uh, Econoline vans with the 5.4 in them as well so that's another vehicle to uh, pull one off of which you can find them in salvage yards all day long so you could probably pick a throttle body up for like 5, 10, maybe 20 bucks but anyways if you want to see the difference here is the uh, aviator throttle body, and I will show you here, which ignore my goofy uh, way of measuring here, but it's all I had at the, the spur of the moment there. Um, let's see if I can get this in a better spot. Anyways, from what you can see here, it's about... 70 millimeters across on that throttle body and the stock Mustang throttle body which you probably already know if I can get to sit up here there okay which you already know measures out to about 65 millimeters and you can kind of see here's the stock gasket that's where the gasket sits on there so you can see there's a little bit of room for improvement there to uh to fit this in the stock uh plenum location there the plenum measures out to be 70 millimeters as well i don't know it's not really a kind of hard to tell but it, it's 70 millimeters across which you can see the gasket lines up about perfect with it well on this aviator throttle body the gasket also lines up about perfect with it so just by that little bit of room there you gain five millimeters throttle body there for extra airflow um, this one I actually modified uh, about five years ago it's been sitting for who knows how long the uh, that that throttle plate shaft in there uh, I did a what's called a, a half shaft mod on it and it's the removal of half the shaft in there that holds the throttle plate on and the only thing holding on is this back part of the shaft here which you have to take this the, the uh, screws out of the uh, the butterfly valve in there and pull the shaft out you can cut the part out that doesn't have the threads and I mean you don't really have to do it I just did it just to get like that little bit of extra airflow out of it but it does help a little bit but anyways I just wanted to put that information out there and uh, show you guys that neat little trick I found out um, like I said it's a uh, the uh, aviator Lincoln Aviator with a 4.6 that has the the uh, 
throttle cable controlled throttle body and also you can find them on econo line vans um also on these throttle bodies right here where the cruise control actually hooks up right down here it's actually just a hair forward on the aviator throttle body so the cruise control uh cable actually gets pulled on it and there's a little bit of tension on it so it holds the the uh throttle body open just a little bit so i you can't really connect that on the aviator throttle body with the the original uh shaft in there otherwise you'll run into idle issues um but what i was thinking i'm you might be able to do is pull the uh the shaft out of the mustang throttle body and modify it which you'd have to open it up right here to accommodate the larger butterfly valve but you should be able to slide that in there because it should be the same width as the uh, muscle Mustang throttle body and you should be able to modify that uh, shaft in there to accommodate for the larger butterfly valve and throttle body and then you should be able to get your cruise control to work that way which I haven't done it yet it theoretically it should work but who knows so anyways let me get this put on here and I'll show you it with the car running all right, well here it is with the uh, aviator throttle body on it, with the car running. Like I said, there's uh, no issues other than the, the cruise control cable. It's just a hair, hair bit too short, which isn't really a huge deal. Like I said, it, I can make it work. Uh, then it runs up fine. Uh, it runs pretty great with it and like I said it's a good cheap way to modify your car that has a stock plenum on it and you can pick them up for five to twenty dollars I mean you never know what you can find them for at your local uh, pull apart yard or whatever so I just want to get that information out there and uh, if you could uh, like subscribe and if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.